Welcome back, one and all, to another episode of Tuesday's Q&A. Here I am outside of Q&A HQ, uh, standing by the waterfall and pond. Thought it was a nice day out, and the dinner bones are back there roaming around. So we're going to go get busy here and find out what our next question is. There is the majestic HQ here with the question mark up there. Let's go inside and find out what we have for a question today. Let's see, we've got an anvil. Are we talking about something about repairing things or something? I don't know. And there's a book. Let's find out what we've got. Here we go. April 29th, 2014 from Tonic31. How far does an anvil have to fall to kill a player? To kill mobs. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Except for killing the player part. There's only one player here. That's me. All right, we'll see what we can do here. All right, so we're going to check the anvil about falling anvils, killing things. This should be fun. Okay, let me go get things set up here, and then we'll see what happens when we drop anvils on mobs and on me. Don't sound so excited, people. Stop it. All right? I know you enjoy this part, but... It hurts. All right, we'll be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in front of what I have set up for testing about the anvil drops. We've got three different levels here. The first one has got an anvil that drops a total of four blocks. Then we've got eight blocks, and then we have behind me there is 12 blocks. So we'll see what we can do here. Let's see what happens with different mobs. Okay, first we're going to start with the four, anvil, four block anvil drop. All right, we're going to put this in here. We're going to just do a chicken at first here. Chickens only have a few, a few hearts. So let's see what happens here. I'd say that kills the chicken. Or four. But what happens, let's go up here and put a new one in. What happens if we do a pig? at four blocks. Up, oh, hurts the pig. It makes it easier to kill, but doesn't kill it. So let's move over to the next one. The eight block anvil drop. Let's put the pig in here. I'd say that did that one. Oh, and look, here's something interesting. Ambles that drop get damaged. Look at that. That's interesting. All right, so we got that one. Now, let's go up here. We'll put another anvil in. And let's try another level up. Let's try a zombie. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How you doing? You doing all right? Here, I have something for you. New hat. All right, that didn't kill him. The eight M for eight block did not kill the zombie. Come on, die. There we go. All right, so let's move over to the 12 anvil drop, the 12 block anvil drop, and try the zombie. All right, you ready? Here we go. Oh, that didn't work. I forgot to reset the thing. Sorry, guy. There you go. We'll get rid of this guy. There he goes. Okay, we're done there. Now let's go put an anvil on top here. Now let's try this. All right, you ready? Here we go. Well, that took him out. 
and the anvil's damaged again. All right, so there we go. It does seem that anvils, when you drop them from different heights, do increasing amounts of damage. But how much? That's a good question. All right, let me set this up and we'll see this because this is the next fun part. Um, it looks like I have to get up close and personal with the anvil. And we will get this set up and we'll come back and see how much damage we do here. So hold on. Okay, here we go, people. <sighs> See, I, I hope you guys appreciate that I put my life on the line for you guys doing this job. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can do this. You ready? This is the four block drop. Ouch. Got three hearts down. All right. All right, let's see here. Let's take... We're going to get healed up here now. There we go. And have a little chicken. All right, let's move over to the next one. All right. Let's see what this one does. This is the eight anvil drop. Ow, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it was four, we took three. Eight, we took seven. Oh man, that hurts. I got a headache now. All right, let's take some of this. And probably need to eat some chicken. Nope, don't need to yet. All right, last one. If that goes the way we're thinking it does, uh, this is going to be it, people. You ready? One more time. Here we go. 12 block anvil drop. Ouch. Spare time was squashed by a falling anvil. Um, I'd say that's done. All right, then. Here we go. Now, one other question I thought came up here, which might be interesting. What if I was wearing armor? Let's find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back with this death contraption here. And let's put on some armor, see if that helps us here. Helmet. Oops. Let me reset that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have returned to this contraption of death, but I am a little more prepared this time. Let us put on some armor and see if that helps. Helmet, breastplate, pants, and boots. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we are. Last one. See what happens. It killed me the last time. Let's see what happens this time. Taking your bets. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, that hurt, but look at that. Only one and a half hearts compared to the death the last time. Wow, I never thought armor actually helped you with this sort of stuff. So, okay, I know to make sure I wear this more often now, especially when you guys want to keep killing me. Okay, everybody, I think that wraps it up. Let's head back to the headquarters and we'll write this one off. Okay, here we are back here. Let's get out the book. And see what we can do for an answer on this one here. How far does an anvil have to fall to kill a player? It looked like it looked like it's one more than how many hearts had to be how it had to be killed. So I'm thinking it's um, an anvil has to fall at least. One more block than the number of hearts. So that counts for the mobs and the player. Armor 
reduces up. Oh, let's go to the second page here. Armor reduces damage. There we go. All right, there we go. So an anvil has to fall at least one more block than the number of hearts, and armor reduces damage. There you go, Tonic. There's your answer. All right, and we will call it done. Once again, thanks everybody for the questions, for watching the videos. This is a lot of fun to do, so please send me your questions. Send me your funny questions, your silly questions, your not-so-silly, not-so-funny, your serious your I have no idea what I'm asking questions, and I'm going to take them and I'll see if it gets, gets you an answer. All right, so here we are signing off. Spare time is signing off until next time on Tuesdays. Q&A. See you then.